Hey, this is the Celtic Texan, and today I'm going to talk about what happens when you rip one of those little UFL connectors off of one of these here doohickeys. Now, as you can see, these UFL things are really small. See, there's my finger, and and while my finger's pretty big, I mean, seriously, those are little tiny deals. So, when you're doing this, well, all you have to do is remember that these particular cables, they're all made up of essentially a few things. If we look here at this one, right here, we can see, well, what we can see is we can see that we have the outer sleeve, we have like a shielding, and then this is all like mesh, and we have an inner sleeve right here, and then this is the core, that's the element, that, that's the transmitter right there. So think of it this way, positive and negative if that, if that helps at all and what this is is when when these particular deals and this is a much bigger cable than this one so this is just smaller stuff over here that's all it's still the same concept so what you do is you just cut through that outer sheath and then you get to the shield and you pull that you just kind of slide the shielding back it just kind of bunches up and you just make it into two little forks like that just think dinner right there maybe a shrimp fork but make it into two little forks and you can solder this directly to this if you ever break one of these connectors off. Now I'm going to pop this dude off here real quick and I'm going to show you what this looks like when you kill one of these connectors. And I'll show you, you can make it work. And there's what that thing looks like, that little circle down there. That's what it looks like when you pop that thing off. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually rip this connector off. This is a cheapy little old, little old receiver so I don't mind tearing it up to show y'all. I mean, I could technically fix it but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull that off there to show you what the underside of that actually ends up looking like. So now when we pull this off, what we got is we got these things over here. These are the ground. These are where those forks go to right here. And then this is that main element. And we can solder the main element directly there and then the forks over here. And that will complete that circuit to that cable. And then you got to work an antenna again. And it's really not too bad and while this one's a little large you can at least kind of see what the thought process is behind it of course I'm about as hand-fisted as anything but think of, think of it like that that center element just goes in there and then the fork goes to either side and then the antenna works again and it's a happy camper and you save yourself some money without having to buy a new receiver or transmitter and all that other good stuff and that is Redneck Tech at its finest, I gotta tell you. Now here this is in action. And I can show you right here. This was the antenna, and I broke one of those little UFL connectors off, and right now this is still drying. That's that uh, conformal coating. But there's the center of the fork. It is now soldered to the center piece there, the element. This is the right fork and the left fork. So this is actually still connected and then comes up here to this video transmitter. And I'm going to show you here in a little bit that this still actually works just like this. Because this is where that UFL, that little mini UFL connector actually came off and just soldered it right back up. And she's going to be happy as a clam to, to go out and send me video from a long way away. And I'll show you that here in just a little bit. So I went ahead and I took it out this morning and it was kind of cloudy and this is during the day because i figured if i lost video and had to put her in the in the drink then you know it'd be easy to find her uh, in the daytime so this is me and i took it out and i said you know what we're gonna go ahead and see how she does but i did turn the power down because before i used to run at uh well i think this particular transmitter you set it at 400 but it actually puts out like 380 or something like that anyway so i set it at 200 just to make sure that I wasn't going to burn it completely in half if uh, if that antenna wasn't on there correct. But here it is, and I went out, and uh, she got pretty good video. I think I got a couple of blinks every once in a while, but I'm pretty sure that that was just normal in the fact that I had turned it down from the 380 setting. But uh, this, again, is that night vision quad, and... And I, I love this thing. This thing is like super stealth quad. If you get this thing about 100 feet up above the ground, you cannot hear it on the ground. It is amazing. But uh, anyways, this thing, um, it's just, it's a seven inch quad. 
and it stays in the air forever and a day. But you see here, I'm out 600 feet on on 200 milliwatt with that solder fix, and it works like a champ. So I think we've uh, we we've shown that we can fix these UFL. I mean, not actually fix the connector, but we can you know keep a, a vtx or for that matter even like a radio receiver or something like that you can keep them if you rip one of those ufls off it is possible to save it so that you just don't end up contributing to the landfill um but uh you see videos nice and solid she's happy uh we go out quite a distance and i think i'm going and now i think i actually trust this dude again where I can go ahead and fly it at night. Now I have some lights on it and all that good stuff so that I can see it, but uh, I can fly it at night again over some safe property and uh, and not feel scared that I'm just gonna lose video. But I mean, it's got a GPS on it. It's got GPS rescue, so I should be able to get it back if everything goes dark. But, you know, I, I sure do feel better being able to fly this thing, you know, at, any time of the day and or night and and still be able to see where i'm going and what i'm doing but uh, i hope this shows you that you can fix them you don't have to throw them away but uh, i want y'all to make sure y'all have fun be safe keep her in the air and uh, tell the faa they can go pound sand as far as their uh, regulations go and uh, we need to we need to make sure we comment and, of course, we need to do it nice and professional-like. But but uh, let's try to keep this hobby going because I have an awful lot of fun flying and I just can't imagine not being able to go out and fly every once in a while. So have fun. Keep her in the air.